Hello, in this video we're looking at a Liberator uh, Early Lufenia difficulty using the Greatsword and I had a long recording but uh, things didn't go as planned and that's now gone. Um, uh, no, no fault of my own. <laughs> so we'll look at this uh, but we're gonna go a little faster on this. Liberator, uh, spin to win, I... do I even have the, the text up? Um, we have on our Liberator, we have Samurai 600%. Every time you do a combo ability effect, you trigger a parry. And thanks to Samurai 400%, every time you trigger a parry, everything after that critical hits. And a combo ability effect in this case is going to be uh, Liberator with the Greatsword on the third link. This commandment at the top center there as well as the after parry slot but we're not going to use the one on the after parry we're going to try to go for the one um, on the third link here and that is going to trigger all of our uh, parry effects and it'll make e the entire spin critical hit uh, on top of that to actually get the spin we have swordsman 400 uh, percent it enables those weapon abilities and after floor 16 or so, uh, floor 16 onward or so, you should have access to spinning slash on any job. Or, or, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. There's a chance that you could find spinning slash on your weapons after uh, floor 16 onward, such as my my weapon there, as well as swordsman 400% giving you spinning slash, as well as the extra damage dealt great sword combo abilities that's also break damage dealt so that helps us out because we're going to do break damage with this particular liberator and then uh and then the 600 percent helps just a little bit to reduce the activation cost of our combo abilities but it doesn't help with the sustained mp cost of liberate uh spinning slash that's what Summoner 250% is for, reduces the sustained cost of the Spinning Slash and also our Liberator's job action that'll help us end up uh, tanking. Uh, another thing we have is we're trying to take less damage, so we have Dark Knight 400% for near death at all times and then the Berserker 250% so that the, we have a Protect and Shell uh, just to take less physical and magic damage. And then we have Breaker, uh, Berserker 50% and 120% to refill the break gauge when you deal damage. And then uh, just to help us out, we have Paladin 400% so that we can avoid Poison, Curse, Silence, Paralysis, Petrification, and Slow. Because we really need all of those effects gone in order to have a smooth uh, run Poison taking away our damage taken at max HP, curse, uh, hurting our break gauge, so unless we use a Lightbringer or get rid of the curse, we, we, we will have half of our break gauge, and that's really dangerous, or, or less, or more or less. Silence, we can't use our mitigation stuff, or we can't uh, use our combo abilities, so that's, that's pretty bad. And petrification and paralysis just prevent us from moving and expose us to more damage less petrification but it's still there and then the slow we spin slower so we end up burning through mp uh at the same rate but we don't hit as often and we need to hit them in order to get our mp back with the spinning slash and then the liberators here just to help out with more stats mostly stamina uh so gear effects i went through fuse uh, and we'll say part of the longer video I was kind of showing how it was getting the gear and how I got the manning materials and even uh, 30 minutes of like going through the UI and some tips on how to navigate that but now we're just looking at what did I actually do what did do have before I saved because the video did not um, so I have damage dealt great sword combo ability as well as spinning slash damage dealt spinning slash where I could find it. Uh, I don't have that on every piece though, but if I had it, and then I try to have stamina on every single piece of gear, and then I also try to have like damage taken at max HP and uh, spirit. So stamina and spirit, mostly stamina, are my big things 
for survival. But stamina is also going to be my big thing for offense because I'm going to be trying to use the stat bonus stamina of spinning slash as my break damage instead. And then we have uh, the damage taken at max HP because the hope is that I'm going to be at max HP pretty often so that uh, I take maybe half the damage while I'm at that max HP. But if you think you won't be at max HP, near death damage taken works well. Is, uh, it just requires a few more pieces to get working. Uh, some of this I just left on there, like the break damage dealt at max break. Uh, now, another thing, the summons blessings at the bottom Ideally, I would have loved to have all Alexander, but I at this point, any 100% is better than absolutely having nothing. So, relics, uh, finding them along the way, whether that's floor 22 and onward, or just even up to floor 22, or on the world map of Lufenia difficulty, or uh, in a separate video, there's the Hollowed Massif, where I'm going through Azure Memories, the Stymied. Um, so th those are ways that you could get relics uh, to help things out. Uh, and those relics are adding stats. So we're looking for Alexander. We're looking for, uh, if we don't have Alexander, we're looking for Ifrit, Titan, or Phoenix, uh, just to kind of help out uh, Phoenix more on the spirit side, uh, Titan more on the HP, but still having a good amount of stamina. And then Ifrit also being pretty tanky spirit. Um, I'm sure there's others, but we'll say, again, anything is better than absolutely nothing. And for actual effects, I'm going to go with Alexander for now, just so I could debuff the enemy's um, stats every time I parry. And if I do a spinning slash in their face, it's going to debuff their stats by 20 for about 15 seconds and... We'll say it's almost like adding an extra 15 stamina at that point for us offensively, as well as reducing the damage that they deal. So stuff like that. Uh, the accessory, uh, we're assuming here that you do not have a Gilgamesh accessory. So this is uh, the placeholder. We, we grabbed a red accessory so that we can slide four effects onto it instead of three. So that's that's the red accessory here and and we're trying to get stamina spirit damage taken at max hp up until about a hundred percent and then slash break damage dealt or something like that whatever the uh the spinning slash is which is attack type slash uh just whatever break damage dealt you can take advantage of the second job i did it i barely tried because i, I lost all that data <laughs> so uh the second job i have monk so that I can use focus and supercharge and all this other good stuff. And then I have Void Knight 400% just to reduce the cost of command abilities. So my Sentinel doesn't cost as much. And my Provoke uh, doesn't cost as much. Or my Lunatic. And then I have the Monk 400% from my Master Points. Because I'm trying to get more HP. It's not that much. So at this point... I could throw on a sentinel that costs less and be and and that and then I could pass the sentinel over to my my liberator and try to cover me for a, a while. And then just as a convenience, I have red mage 250% so that I don't spend as much time charging. Even the first charge of focus is better than nothing at all. It helps out with the break damage. It also helps out with damage dealt, but it doesn't say that, but it helps out with break damage. And then, just for my own convenience, I have Summoner 120%, so that when I chain cancel, or the 50 and 120, so that when I chain cancel, like at max HP, MP, oh my gosh. And then I have the Gambler 120%, so that sometimes, not all the time, I get some max MP recovered. I'm sorry, regular MP recovered. Sorry, you can tell I'm a bit flustered, sorry. Uh, so, we're, we're going to look here. The Allies, for now, they, they don't really have... Uh, a build they're just they don't even they're not even passing their stats off to me i am giving them leftover gear that is actually better than everything i have so uh they might be pretty pretty tanky at this point i forget if i showed the master points i don't think i did uh we're looking at stamina spirit liberator job affinity up to a certain point 
some damage taken at max HP, some critical break damage dealt, but more importantly, first, parry MP recovery, and some HP recovery, depending, and also maxing out the critical MP recovery. Uh, because when we're spinning, we're going to be critical hitting and all this other good stuff. Uh, I hope this... Sorry, there's like a lot of nervousness here, and I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to like... <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. And then on the monk, I I I do have a long monk, sorry, lock so that gambler 120% might help me restore a bit more MP. I have monk uh job affinity so that I get more max HP. And then I have the buff duration and increase uh just so that when I do cast lunatic or provoke at a discount, that it lasts just like a few seconds longer. And then I have the increase MP limit boost rate and a little bit of soul burst MP recovery so that when I do soul burst the boss, I get a little bit more max MP back. And then if I ever do need the light bringer, uh, I, it, it lasts just like 40% longer. So um, what is that, like eight seconds? So stuff like that. And ideally, I should have smithed my gear, but that's gone. So F it. We're just going to look at how this build does so far. Uh, I realize this is about over t 10 minutes at this point, but the goal here was to try to get something that could be used in Rift. Uh, I don't recall what floor this save is on, so hopefully we're in like the 30s, but I think we might actually be 25. Oh, no, 36. So we're, we're at a decent floor. Uh, I haven't stabilized all the souls, but ideally, I'd want Bang or Bomb for the uh, stamina, and then I'd want the Skeleton also for the stamina, and I'd want Curl for the spirit, and the Malboro for the spirit, and then ideally, I want the uh, the Behemoth for the 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 um the combo ability stat bonus, and then as a smaller effect, the damage dealt to bosses. So those things kind of all working together. And now at this point in the rift, I have um, a lot of stamina. And we're going to try out... I realize this is not exactly like 440 and whatnot. Um, I don't want to fight too long. I might even fail. But I'm trusting that I won't. So let's try multiple bosses just to uh, see how this goes. I think this is five bosses, so this is going to suck. But before you ever go into any of these, ideally you would drink a Mega Ether or a High Ether or something like that, and we're going to regret whatever happens here. We're just going to do or die because I didn't get to this part last time. I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to do a Lunatic. I'm going to try to do a Focus, and I'm going to try to do... If I have enough MP, provoke and sentinel. But we'll see what happens. And uh, I do have the allies here just to make things harder for me. Because they're not, uh, again, not ideal builds for what this is about to do. So, Ludatic, sentinel, provoke... And then we try to spin. Uh, I'm sorry, that was three hits. And we're we're leaning into all of that uh, that sentinel, all that mitigation. Maybe one of these bosses will end up trying it. This is a long room. <laughs> Five bosses. Okay, crap. So we're gonna try to refresh one of these buffs uh, let's do lunatic and provoke and let's get a level one focus going on again and uh, this is this is a combination of all the stamina the damage dealt greatsword the 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 damage dealt spitting slash oh and see getting broken really sucks
but I don't want to leave this job in the middle of combat. Huh, I really thought... Okay. Also, because I don't have Monk 250% on my Liberator, the buff, the parry buff duration doesn't last as long. So it's, it's kind of like, oh, you get something, and then it's gone. Okay. And this is kind of how it goes. If Sentinel falls off again, we'll we'll just try it without um another BK. So Sentinel's falling off here. Let's get Astos. How dare you kick a civilian model with Mako colored eyes? So it's less about the HP damage if we're going the stamina route, even though we're still doing a decent amount of um, HP damage, but that's just because the stats are not uh, on this floor, it doesn't require as much, but we still want like over 220 on your main, uh, main stat going upwards past the 220 mark. Uh, but let me uh, return to the hall, return the sender, and uh, yeah, that that'll be the the liberator great sword early Lufenia difficulty, uh, and just I I'll, I'll throw it here just in this video because I, I keep forgetting. Uh, sorry, a mention to it is um, for mannequin materials. We're looking at the, the, there should be a link in the description for the, the ancient chaos shrine, the wanderer, setting that up with paladin and setting your trials up so that your mission level is high. And then something that I will be maybe posting a little bit later is uh, Coma's version of the, the stymied uh, that's using marksman with starlight. Um, so that uh, this a stymied is, is a way that you could get uh, some gear maybe with mission level plus 90 or 130 or even 180. Uh, if you go too high you'll over gear and then you'll just have h super high stats for the content you're up against. Uh, but we're going to stop the video at 22 hours and 22 minutes and 22 seconds and I'm just finding an excuse to keep talking until that point. But yeah, hopefully this helps. Uh, just a rough idea, and maybe we'll post an end, ender game version of this. But yeah, hope that helps.